Hey guys, welcome to the second and final part of our agenda tutorial video guide. In this video, we are going to cover how to create a project in agenda, how to manage project tasks in agenda, how to track time spent on tasks in agenda, and how to import events from Google and iCloud calendars into agenda directory. If you have not watched the first part, we recommend you click the link in the video description to watch it. We have covered the basics of agenda, its UI and adding and scheduling tasks in that video. We are not going to explain those steps here. So please watch the video and come back here. With that disclaimer out of our way, let's start our video. To create a project in agenda, we will first add it as a page in our Logseq database. Agenda treats each page in Logseq as its own project. To add a project, click on the create button, choose the new page button and name it. Now we will ask agenda to log this page as a project. Use the Ctrl Shift S keyboard shortcut to open agenda. Click on the settings button. Go to the project menu here, click on the drop down menu and choose your page. You can also change the background color and the border of the events you create. To do that, click on the paint item. Let's select purple as our project color. Now hit the escape key to go back. To understand managing project in agenda, first we need some task. We have already explained how you can add tasks. So let's just quickly add them. Now we have added tasks to our agenda. Again, if you don't know how we did this, please go back and watch the first video. To see your project in agenda, hit the Ctrl Shift S shortcut. You will notice that it opens a new project dashboard where it shows all your tasks. You can see your tasks in list view, calendar view, timeline view, and Gantt view. If you open agenda from any page other than the project page, you will see the regular dashboard. However, notice that agenda has added our new project alongside the general project. You will see your project task along with your daily task. Notice that our project tasks are using a different color scheme that we set when we were setting up the project. To only see your project task in this calendar view, click here. Now deselect all the other items other than your project. If you manage projects, you must be familiar with the project milestone. A project milestone marks a significant point in its timeline. For example, finalizing the tasks list can be a big project milestone for this project and we might want to keep track of it. Agenda lets you do that by using the milestone tag. To convert a task into a milestone, add hashtag milestone to the task. Now when you go back to the agenda and open the calendar view, you will notice that our task is appearing in the milestone section. By now we have learned how you can create a project in agenda, how you can add tasks to it and how you can convert a task into a milestone. Let's now see how you can track time spent on tasks in agenda. Agenda has a built-in Pomodoro timer that lets you focus on your work. The plugin also logs the time you spend on each task using its timer to create a chart. Let us understand this better with an example. Suppose we want to track how much time we spent on the important task too. Right click on it and choose the Agenda Start Pomodoro Timer option. Now click on the Start button. When you finish the task, click on the Finish button. If you are stopping in the middle, you can stop the timer using the Stop button. Let's finish this task. As you can see, our Pomodoro Timer is showing that it has logged 2 minutes of our task. To see all the logged tasks in the Agenda, open it. Now go back to the Review tab. Here. Choose your project and click the review button. Here you will see that important task 2 in our new project in agenda has taken 2 minutes. Similarly, you can log all your tasks and see how much time you have spent on these tasks here. You can see it in a different varieties of graphs and export it using these buttons. So that is how you can create a project in agenda add tasks to it and track time you spent on these tasks. If you have learned the basics from the first video, you will notice that it's very easy to use. If you have any question regarding managing projects in agenda, let us know in the comments and we will surely help you out. While we would love to have all our tasks inside Logseq, if you work with other people, chances are that most of your work live on your Google or iCloud calendar. 
The good news is that Agenda plugin lets you import events from Google and iCloud Calendar, thus allowing you to see all your tasks in one place. In this section, we will show you how you can integrate your Google Calendar with Agenda plugin directory. Before we show you how to integrate Google Calendar events with Agenda, there are a few points you should know. The only way to integrate Google Calendar is to create a public copy of the calendar. Converting your calendar to a public calendar means anyone with your calendar link can access it online. We have added the Google support link in the video description. So click to read it and then proceed with these steps. To add Google Calendar events to your agenda, first open Google Calendar in a web browser of your choice. We have already done that. Click on the My Calendars button to see the list of all your calendar. Since I have only one calendar linked to this account, we will use this for the example. Click on the three dots menu and choose Settings and Sharing option. Here, click on the Access Permissions for Event option. Now, click on the Make Available to Public. Here, click on OK. Now, scroll down to the bottom and copy your public address in iCal format. Now, go back to LogSeq, open Agenda, go to Settings and choose Subscriptions. Here, click on Add Subscription, name the calendar and paste the URL you just copied. Now, enable this calendar. Once you enable this, you can go back to Calendar View and you should see all your tasks here. As you will notice that our event details are not visible, it's because we are using a work account and need the administrator's permission to create a calendar with visible event details. If you are also using a work account, ask your account admin to enable these features. For personal Gmail account, you don't need such permission. Now that we have added Google Calendar to our agenda directory, let's see how you can add iCloud Calendar to agenda directory. To do that, first launch the Apple Calendar app on your Mac. We have already done that. Now hover over the calendar you want to add and click on the share icon. Here enable the checkbox for public calendar and click on done. And right click on the calendar again and click on copy URL to clipboard. Go back to agenda, click on the settings icon, click on subscription, add subscription and name it like before. Now paste your URL. Now go back to the front of the URL and replace webcal with HTTPS. This is very important because without this step, it won't work. So remember to replace webcal with HTTPS. Now enable the calendar. If you go back to calendar, you will see that Apple calendar event for LogSec is here. That is all for this guide. The LogSec agenda plugin is an all stop solution for managing tasks and project inside LogSec. We have covered most of its salient features here. If you still have any doubts or confusion, you can drop them in the YouTube comments and we will help you as soon as possible. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and we will see you in the next one.